How do you, uh, do you um, structure very strictly? Do you always come up with the end first before you start writing? Or? Uh, I do. I, um, and now, you know, sometimes the characters take off by themselves and demand mm -hmm. that, that something happens in the play that I didn't give them permission to, to do. Mm -hmm. But um, normally I... I do try to create a map because you know that if you want to get to some place, you got to set out on roads that will take you there. Right. So I do structure. Mm -hmm. um, although, you know, sometimes I, anytime I've tried to just sort of say, okay, I'll start from some image and just spin it out and see what happens and where it goes and let myself be surprised. Mm -hmm. I never get very far. Me too. I just find uh, there are some writers who swear by that and I just find I just lose steam. I don't know what's going on. Yeah. And I just kind of, and, and, and it just takes me a long time of staring at a page. I'm not into staring at a page. I like no. to sort of... No. No. Uh, yeah. I, I don't know what it is that... Uh, and it, I've, I've tried a few times to mm -hmm. do that, and it just doesn't work for me. Yeah, some people it works for, but not, not me. What about, um, do you ever get writer's block? <laughs> um, well, I, I normally, since I've got this deadline of these actors waiting at the end <laughs> of the process right, yeah. uh, for something to say, <laughs> uh, I can't afford to have writer's block. Yeah. Uh, it is frustrating sometimes because you know that whatever you're going to write that day isn't going to be any good. Yeah. And so you don't write it. Mm -hmm. You just sort of sit there playing, uh, you know, uh, solitaire on your computer. <laughs> <laughs> just mark the time. When oh, it's really writing. good. And, uh, yeah. and crossword puzzles. And, mm -hmm. uh, and you sort of say to yourself, oh, I've really done well. <laughs> <laughs> I got every last clue. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> but, um, but finally, uh, there comes that point where something says, just sit down and, and mm -hmm. you start to put just stray words on the page, you know where it's got to go. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, some of the work that I've done, I, um, workshops are another question, you know. Right. We, we uh, have gotten into workshop uh, frenzy uh, in this country. Yeah. But when I was working at the Globe Theatre, uh, we hardly any, we might have had a reading a few weeks in advance. Mm -hmm. uh, but basically that was it. You, you workshopped in rehearsal. Everything sort of seems to demand workshops now, but interesting workshops that uh, we've done at uh, at Mix Company uh, has been to the well. The, we might be working with a group of street kids, right. so we'd take a week or two to explore their stories, mm -hmm. and then I would take that material home with me and write a script, mm -hmm. basically using. Uh, using their language and, and their, uh, mm -hmm. their stories and the kinds of issues that they w were concerned about. Yes. And I, I had, and this is another way in which my theater training has uh, been helpful uh, in terms of, uh, well, when I went to Union, we did have a bit of vocal work and, and stuff like that, but physical work. But um, the, most, the single most important thing I got from my pastoral clinical training. Mm -hmm. As part of uh, Divinity College, we had to uh, spend uh, several weeks at a Toronto General Hospital um, where uh, a group of uh, the theology students would uh, visit patients in the hospital. Uh, then we had to write verbatims of our... Uh, interviews and then take them back to the group to be criticized. Really? Yeah. Uh, were oh, we yeah. listening? Were we really hearing what that patient was uh, on about? Uh, oh. What their anxieties were? were we, or did, were we talking about our own uh, anxieties, you know? Oh. Uh, uh, oh. Or, or trying to give them some kind of fake comfort, uh, mm -hmm. you know? 
Uh, and uh, the first uh, few days, anybody who's done that exercise will know that the first few days you, you write maybe about three sentences for the whole time you, sp you spent with the person. But every time you did it, those, uh, the details and the, and the language got, uh, more, uh, got longer and, and more detailed. Um, so at this point, um, when I'm sitting with a group of people listening to them, I can still write verbatims afterwards uh, that are fairly uh, detailed and intensive. And mm. it's much better than a, a tape recorder hmm. because it's the creative process as well. Right, right. Because you're writing as uh, you're thinking of uh, what was said. That's a really good skill for a player to have. Yeah. Hmm. And that didn't come out of a theater school. Right. No, yeah. of course. As a matter of fact, that might be a good idea for a theater school. Yeah, it um, might be. Um,